Hello my soccer universe to the review that I usually do first this time around it turned out I will do it a little bit uh, later not only because I had the Premier League video up but you know I needed to collect my thoughts on my favorite team Lusk and them their situation definitely not improving and yeah a few other things uh, that we have to talk about in there as well uh, as for the choice of jersey, I went this time with Freiburg. Freiburg was only second. I it actually I should have probably put on Wolfsburg uh, if I went with the Bundesliga, which was the only way because I'm not going to wear any of the other Austrian shirts except Lask and Lask lost. But since Freiburg was on number two and last week Freiburg definitely would have been no, no, number one and also because I have a long sleeve shirt, I decided let's go for Freiburg because it fits better also fits a little bit the mood and the gray dark skies outside so yeah um, as usual we will uh, start in the Austrian Bundesliga in a round that was uh, very much char characterized by draws but where two wins actually uh, maybe set the tone for things to come um, the first draw that I'm going to talk about is the one uh, in Ried, between Ried and Salzburg, because that was an absolutely crazy game. Uh, the first goal by Meisel, um, one has to, uh, that put Ried up uh, in the ninth minute or already. Uh, it was not 100% clear whether the ball um, cleared the line. Uh, it's just that the goalkeeper kind of a little bit behind, maybe, you know, definitely behind, but uh, cleared the ball. But could not, but it could, it would for any review could not show whether this was a proper goal. The referee seemingly saw it, or the linesman. Uh, there is no camera there. There is of course no goal and technology in the Austrian league. So, uh, a rather cheapish goal for Reed, I gotta say. Uh, Salzburg was rattled, needed a little bit uh, to get going, but then uh, in the 72nd, they. Uh, have a penalty and since at that point um, Adeyemi who a little bit was already walking um, you know he was getting agitated so he needed to be taken off he was not there he's a regular penalty taker so Christian steps up and the penalty is saved it was not a good penalty and at that point I think everyone in Reed really thought that uh, the sensation is in the air but then Adamu in the 83rd so ten, uh, more than 10, 10 minutes later gets the equalizer and then within two, two minutes o o Okafor dusts it off to make it 2-1 and you think everything's going fine no stoppage time Reed can equalize again pretty huge points for Reed which is a team that are definitely overperforming this season but they're doing so quite well, I gotta say. So yeah, 2-2 uh, and, and Salzburg dropping for a second time points. Um, the standout result in many ways was Wolfsburg's win at Sturm Graz. And Sturm Graz having already lost to Reed in the cup in the midweek, now losing at home. And uh, you know, Sturm is maybe hitting kind of the level. They were flying high. Maybe also flying too high, and now they're hitting kind of the uh, the wall. Uh, the game was more or less uh, put into the right <laughs> uh, direction from Wolfsburg uh, by a wonderful goal by Lindl in the 17th minute and a Dante on goal in the 64th, and um, a Dieng goal in deep in stoppage time uh, decided that one, which leads us to my team Lusk. And it is so frustrating. It is so frustrating. Uh, before I say anything about the game. I have the feeling uh, that Lusk at the moment reminds me a lot of Brighton last season where you have chances, you create chances and you miss chances left and right. Or you do concede stupid goals uh, and in that sense Lusk again loses. It's I think now the fourth loss in a row in the league. Doesn't look good. Does, doesn't look good. But uh, let's quickly talk about, about the game because uh, it was not a game that I expected Lask to win. Let's put it that way. I mean, when they lost at, uh, to Altach at home, I said, oh, this is when they uh, suddenly became a uh, last. I really was, yeah, this is going to be tough because the next game you will not win at Rapid. There's no way. Uh, at the moment, there's no way that uh, you win at Rapid. Although Rapid is also a little bit uh, uh, having a rough patch. 
So uh, it's more like the next game against Tirol, who they just beaten in the end in the cup. They need to get a win, and then uh, there are a few more where you you definitely need to snatch some points if you don't want to go in full crisis mode, uh, and maybe you know get the win now against other other in the Europa League and go further. At repeat for 30 minutes, Lusk dominated despite having 11 players out with injuries or COVID or something else, and then in the 17th minute. Even James Holland needed to come off with an injury. And right there, I think it was a free a free kick. Uh, Shaw, Shaw shot a goal that's just parried and going up, put, puts it in. Karamoko needs to make another goal, at least one more. Uh, I think uh, they hit the crossbar for, uh, through Lukaneda. It should have been one or two goals for Lusk in that period. But then Rapid got into the game and their new striking pair between Grul and Karo, although for the national team they were absolutely atrocious in Denmark. They work well for Rapid, and Kara is one of the, rev the revelations of the past season. Uh, he uh, gets the equalizer, um, and then kind of that settled the game, and the game was then a lot more even in the second half. Uh, Lusk losing control of the of, of, of the game, and then uh, Gala Gala said that uh, individually Rapid is probably a little bit better. And so it is in the last 15 minutes where Rapid have lost many, many games. They actually won this one, which is, we call in German or in Austria the Rapid Viertelstunde, which is the Rapid Quarter Hour, because uh, traditionally Rapid, because they were known for the fighting style, they always turned around in the last 15 minutes. Uh, most famously, the German Championship Final in 42, 43, some, something like that. So Rapid being the only Austrian team to be also German champions, uh, weirdly enough. Uh, but yeah, not pretty history there. So uh, Kara makes it then 2 2 to 1, 7, 7, 8, and then a uh, free kick from actually far out by Grull in the 80, 86 kind of settles the game. And I have to say that free kick, the uh, I mean, it goes past the wall in a curve. If the wall is here, the free kick goes like that. Uh, not good goalkeeping. This is one that needs to be saved. I think this was definitely a uh, goalkeeping error. Uh, Lusk pulled one back in the 89th, but it's a little bit too late. And then at the very end, there was even was, uh, a little altercation, and Liwicic got sent off after the end of, of the game. Frustrating loss for Lusk, I have to say, and they remain to be in last place. Uh, yeah, and to make things mad, mad it's worse in the cup, they got the worst possible draw by having an away game at Salzburg. So, uh, yeah, maybe this will. It's the first game after the winter break, so yeah, but uh, maybe let's get rid of the cup and that's that. Uh, as I said, they have a must win next round and then Wolfsburg against Rapid is also an interesting one. Uh, that could see... Uh, that We could see whether Rapid can uh, at, in, uh, now challenge for like a top three spot or whether Wolfsburg is really that good because Wolfsburg at the moment are, are really in great, great form. So, moving on, everything else, that's cast. So, moving on to, Ger uh, to, to Germany. I didn't see too much uh, there, but I think the big story was definitely how will Bayern recover from their horrible loss to Gladbach in the midweek. So, that was one. So, I saw the car, the conference where Mainz does the double of Bielefeld. They beat them 3 2 in the cup. Now they beat them 2 1 in B B Bielefeld, a game that should have been decided by halftime. But by some weird luck, uh, it was only a 1 1. Uh, but then Burkhardt gets uh, the win for Mainz. Uh, Leverkusen Wolfsburg for the first half was an absolutely ugly, ugly game. Uh, nothing really happening. And then Wolfsburg, who have now uh, Florian Kofeld, former Werder, the Werder Bremen coach, um, hired him as a replacement for Mark van Bommel, which I find an interesting one for the simple reason that. You know, the, uh, Kofel is a little bit more progressively playing, a little bit more modern than Van Bommel. Uh, I think it's a more natural succession to what Glasner was doing. So let's see how it worked out. It, uh, immediate effect was there. Uh, they got two quick goals after they have to match on Arnold. Uh, also got someone sent off late on, but you know, uh, it Lever, Lever, Leverkusen is still reeling at the moment from that loss to Bayern in the cup to the bed. So Leverkusen is uh, really about to hit hit uh, a rough patch. Uh, Dortmund was a little shaky against Köln at the beginning. Uh, Ud even scoring a goal that was rightly uh, waved off for offside, uh, but then they got the lead. In the 4 hour for me, a great assist of Bellingham to Hazard, who actually doesn't hit the ball with the head quite well. But still, and that was enough to let, let it go in. 
<laughs> and you know, even without Haaland, Dortmund can uh, put a team performance together. They are keeping a clean sheet, which is not uh, easy for Dortmund, especially against a high energy Köln team. And in the end, it's Tigges then uh, who seals the deal, and Dortmund are winners. Freiburg, the sensation of the season so far. I mean, that they would win in their new stadium against Graz, the field was uh, more or less expected. Um, it was not the greatest performance, but it was a super deserved win. An own goal where Asta couldn't uh, quite well clear the ball. Uh, Gives them the lead, then Höfler adds a second one, also a little bit messy goal. Uh, level, leveling pulls one back for Kreuter for Griffo, then with a pair of penalty uh, sets it. And uh, Freiburg are flying high in third spot. Uh, at the moment, not projected by my model to be in a Champions League spot, but finishing fifth, which is pretty, pretty amazing. And then Bayern. Maybe 10 minutes needed. Uh, they needed to find themselves, then uh, Union player. Uh, I think it was Jekyll. Uh Kind of has the hand dangling too much in the, pen in the penalty box. Penalty, Lewandowski steps up. 1-0. And from that moment on, there was no turn back. Lewandowski scores a free kick again. I think the wall and the goalie uh, should, should, should have performed better. And then when uh, Sané in the 35th makes it 3-0, you thought, yeah, that's the game. However, it also has to be seen. Gieselmann pulls one back for Union in 4 for the and then immediately after they actually would have scored a goal, but it was just a fraction of side, uh, which would have surely increased the nerves of Bayern, who then see the game out relatively easily. Uh, Command scoring one, Ryerson pulls one back, and then uh, Müller uh, makes it a proper Bayern result with 5-2. I said only I wouldn't want to be Union after Bayern has lost so badly at Gladbach. Union is a well-organized team. I think it's a team that, again, will finish in the top half at the moment. But uh, I think everyone kind of expected that Bayern will show up and will show what they are made of. Um, Leipzig and Frankfurt, again, cannot get quite the season going. Uh, Augsburg, big win over Stuttgart and Gladbach on a 2-1 over Bochum. So those are the, the, late, the late results. Um, next week, got to be mentioned, uh, we have a big clash. Bayern against Freiburg. First against third. Will Freiburg snatch some points in Munich? That will be interesting. Um, we also have Leipzig against Dortmund, which is the, the top game as well. Uh, so those are the two standard fixtures for the next week. Again, a little bit more details in the stats cast where you will also get the full draw of the um, German Cup. Just saying Berlin Derby in there, which I think is quite intriguing. In any case, uh, please let, let, let me know if you want to add anything. Drop a line below uh, in the comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I hope the next time I can talk about a win from Lusk. And I will do so soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!